Liam, uh, tough night. Tough night. Tough night. Very good team. I thought they played. I thought Norwich were outstanding. Doesn't make it any easier for me. Um, and we just, even when we scored the first goal, I didn't celebrate the goal. Normally I'm jumping up and down when we score. It just felt like from minute one, they were on the front foot, we were on the back foot. And when you allow players at the level that Norwich have to be on the front foot all game with their quality, some of their football was excellent and, and they deserved the three points. It's one of those, isn't it? You, you, like you say, you, they start really well. Mm. But you get in front, if, if perhaps you can just keep that lead for 10, 15 yeah. minutes, the crowd were already edgy at that point. And then you, you, get, in, you get more confident, they perhaps don't. But you, Four minutes. Yeah, that's the key. Um, and, and to be fair to the lads, Baz, they've been outstanding in terms of that. You know, and in the championship, it's so difficult to, to put those type of runs together. So I, I give the players credit for the run we've been on. But now we have to you know, dust ourselves down, analyse, see where we can improve, like I've always said. But I have to say, performance-wise, that was not us today no. in terms of where since I've come into the club. Um, but we need to make sure that we're better on Saturday and use this as a learning tool. Just make the point on Twitter though, to say that you've had 14 games in charge, that is your worst performance. That, if, you've been, if you're looking for the positive, that is a positive, that it's taken 14 games to, to, to perform you know, it's below par as that. Yeah, and it's no excuse. I want to perform to our highest level every single game. You know, it's, it's not an, an excuse for the players. They have been very, very good for me. And now it's great because I'm going to learn about how we react. You know, we've lost games where we didn't deserve to lose. This is the first time in three months that I can turn around, hold my hands up and say, we're beaten by the better team. I have to give David credit because they've responded really, really well. I thought their play was excellent today. They've got some outstanding players, which we knew. But I want the players to attain to that level. I want us to be challenging and pushing for the top six. And I think it was a real lesson to us today from a physical point of view as well. We lost duels. They won second balls. Um, so a lot for us to learn. But I'm very, very confident with this group of players that they'll learn and they'll improve. And it's the example of the championship, isn't it? If you are slightly below where you need to be, you will get punished. Yeah, if you're below where you... I've always said it. That's why I'm concentrating on performance. Um, and that's the first time I'm really going to have to analyse, really going to have to feed back to players and really work really hard to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Um, but the championship is all about reactions. You know, it really, really is. You, you can go on a run if you stay consistent with your performances. We've done that and hopefully we can go on another one. Four changes um, to your team. That must have been difficult, particularly on the back of three clean sheets. What was you thinking? Yeah, it was no, no reflection on the players that came out of the team. Um, I've tried to put a squad together where we can refresh and you could see why you need to do that. But I've got Benji, who's played his first game, his first 90 minutes in God knows how long. Um, We've got to get players up to speed as well. So it, what I have to do is freshen up the team and keep us right going into March and April when the games come thick and fast again. So, yeah, look, it's on me as well. I take accountability for my decisions and my selections. But I felt the team that I put out was more than good enough to put up a better fight than what we did. What's the latest with Aaron? Aaron's had a scan today. Um, unfortunately for us, it doesn't look great. I'm not saying too long, but he's, I, he thinks he's a real doubt for Saturday. Cyrus came up with not Yeah, just a dead leg. Uh, you just couldn't shake it off. So it was something that hopefully he'll be okay for Saturday. Yeah, thank you. Does that feel at all like a missed opportunity given that you have gone one nil up at a club who have had a poor run at home by their standards? I think every time you lose it's a missed opportunity. Um, you know, we, we, we scored a first goal. Uh, we worked really, really hard on set plays. We felt it was an opportunity for us to, you know, have a real chance in the game. But when you give a team of this quality the opportunity to make an equaliser so quickly and give them the energy and confidence. I know they've been on a difficult run. It doesn't change the fact that David's a very good manager and they've got very, very good players here. And I think, I think in terms of the quality of players that Norwich have, they're looking at top six. You know, they've still got a great chance. So it was an opportunity for us to benchmark ourselves. We didn't hit the, the levels that we should have done today and it's on me just to respond now. Given how well you have been performing, was there anything that you could identify that didn't quite work for your side. I just wanted us to show a little bit more confidence on the ball, uh, to be honest. They, and we knew we worked on their press. We knew exactly how they were going to press. Um, but we knew where the space was. We didn't quite utilise the space in behind with quality. Um, and that's something that when you are trying to work on a style of play, and I do want to play out from the back and I want to dominate possession, there were times where it looked like we were being pressed a couple of times it went wrong. You're going to have to take that. And you use those moments and you use those um, clips in a game to show the players and make sure they improve for the next one. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys, man. Good luck. Thank you. Safe trip back. Cheers.